yeah when I first got into this stuff this is the type of thing just like anybody else you start looking into these and this was apparently found in coal deep in the earth and that's 100 times ma magnification it's like nanotechnology uh, that's what it is there but when I did a video showing you these well, I'm going to show you in a second when I showed this I was only showing it like uh, as what I see the kind of thing I see I'm not saying that it's exactly this you know like a CNC shop that's what it appears to be uh, I'm just saying that things it, it appears to be built like that this area here I'm just putting these images again because I've got some more on it and then we're going to move on to other places But yeah, this looks like a CNC arm machine device with a little and all this roof has just curved in and you can see bolt sections inspect this image carefully that's what I see in it and then I got into well yeah I mean this is basically what metal looks like when it just rusts down to nothing doesn't it because that's basically what it is it is basically just metal rusted down to nothing and the main thing I'm going to get into this video is this <coughs> researchers into this stuff I keep going on about that I'm moving forward keep saying that all this is vitrification right vitrification of rock I don't know how they get that look I used to believe it I went into it all and sh you know I've got loads of Im images on it but now I think it's something else and I'm going to show you what I think it is uh, and I also said that somebody had gouged this section out this is a later image <coughs> And somebody has come and gouged it out and flattened that area off a bit because they knew what it was. And I said that they're done as a favour because you can see a hole directly direct inside of it. And I said that would be where cabling went. Well, it, it wouldn't be. It would just be where these sections joined into each other. Yeah, and that would be like a hexagonal shape. this is the main image of the video right you need to see what I'm showing here before I show the rest of it this is some type of shoot escalator right if you can imagine inside the airport what we've got today we've got escalators right and down them I know you can see this because this camera's better that's why I'm showing you it this thing is shaped in V's just like we've got today right can you see these pleats here and as they move further up they get wider and wider because as it comes down here these shut and close so much broke away here and then they go back under themselves just like you've got in airports that's exactly what you're looking at but this was made from metal this one can you see that this here is obviously steel or some type of high-tech metal there's a little hole there some pointed sections some it's broke away and but you can see how it's made inside it's hollow inside here right that part's broke away that's the chair area because I'm saying that all this is some kind of high-tech metal that's just rusting it away to nothing this is the back of this site I've shown this before I said this might have been cabling that's fused to the wall this image is new to me right this staircase has been made in very recent times this is just blocks thrown down on the floor this was not always an entrance what this looks like to me this looks like some type of machine that went in here that has just completely rusted away and been removed and all you're left with is this section down here you can see a little 
hole there and a hole there where the machine came down here this is part of that machine and this wall is metal look at it these are steel plates and something slotted in there if you can't discern that this is a machine you need help right yeah, I don't know what these researchers are thinking, what's going on here. But they, I mean, they're talking about shaping stone and stuff. Well, shaping it for what? Because this is a machine, anyone can see that. I've shown this. That's your Brian Forrester, and he stood right in front of this. And what you've got here is, can you see that half circle there? and then it comes around here because all this here, this section here is a machine, you've got a bolt there comes round up onto this you've got that little half circle there this comes, that's melted, you've got a bolt all there all this here connected to it see that this was some sort of look at that plate there with a bolt there this machine's been removed or melted away this is metal this is not vitrification of stone this it's metal guys, <clears throat> I'm telling you, it's making me sick, vitrification, it's ridiculous, I don't even think they've looked into, you know, vitrification of stone and what it would take, it's, it's stupid, have a look in here, it just looks like huge pieces of iron, and it's just pot marked, it's just rusted, These are metal plates that turn into stone. Look at them. It's just like what you've got on a ship today. Is that how we build a ship? This might, might be too dark for you. But this here is a steel plate turning to stone. That is only, it's about, I don't know, six inches thick. It's about six inches thick is this plate here and it's hollow inside look it's a machine part of a machine turning to stone this just looks like pewter this is what pewter looks like over long periods of time this thing here I mean you know what is that it just looks like some kind of big cylinder you know there's not much left you've got to use discernment when you're looking at this but it's all this colour it just looks like iron rusting iron parts and machines and there's deception going on here as well because this is not the same as this is it this just looks like uh, I don't know it looks like pottery or something it just I don't know but I mean this I don't know where this is but it's not part of this door this is metal, anyone can see that. This is taking a right bash because these pot marks here have actually bent and when you look at it you get them all facing one way and then it gets to this end and they start facing down. This is metal, huge pieces of machinery and it's taking a bash These walls, I'm thinking, were made out of glass. That's why you get this crisscross pattern. 